Hi there, this is Kosha Grandchild from the Grandchild Law Group. Welcome to our weekly immigration show. Today, we're going to continue our J-1 waiver series, and I have something very exciting to talk to you about today, which is case study of a J-1 Fulbright waiver that was approved. You'll want to stay tuned because these are one of the most difficult J-1 waivers to get approved because of the Fulbright government funding. All right, so now let's jump into the case study. And if you haven't already, smash that like button. All right, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the timeline because you might be very interested in this. This is just the most recent up-to-date case study that we have, and it was just recently approved. So first of all, we filed this case in November 2019, and then the I-613 was received by the Department of State from USCIS June 2020. Now, a whole year later, the request for sponsor was sent on June 2021. And then in August 2021, the sponsor views were received. Then we had the great news that the Department of State gave a favorable recommendation in September 2021, and then the case was approved by USCIS on October 2021. So you'll see here that the case took longer than normal a case would take because they were Fulbright funded. You can see how sponsor views add additional amount of time because the Department of State is requesting from the sponsor their views and that adds a whole nother layer of complexity to the case, a whole nother timeline to the case. So first of all, let's talk about, well, do you even qualify for a G1 exceptional hardship waiver? So the basic requirements is that you need a spouse, a lawful permanent resident, as a qualifying relative, or a child who's a U.S. citizen or a lawful permanent resident. Unlike the I-601A waiver, having a parent who's a U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident doesn't make you qualify. So one question I get is, well, what if I'm pregnant? Well, your baby's not born yet. So they're not, USCIS does not consider that to be a qualifying relative. However, if you have a qualifying relative, the pregnancy can be an additional form of hardship that I like to include in the case. Let's move on forward to talk about this case study that I promised you, how we were able to get a Fulbright J-1 waiver approved. Now in this situation, the applicant was from South Asia. One of the key factors that we used to get this case approved was the fact that they had a difference in religious faiths. The J-1 is a Muslim, and that was a different faith from the spouse. Now also, the child had a non-Muslim surname. So that was also a factor as well. What we did is we argued exceptional hardship from extremists, from their home country, from the Muslim extremists in that home country, to demonstrate exceptional hardship. But this was not the only factor that we used. So in our cases, I always like to talk about multiple forms of hardship, if that's possible. So in this case, there was career hardship as well. So the career would be disrupted as well by uh, moving back to the home country. And then not only that, there would be financial hardship as well. If the parents left to go to the applicant's home country, they wouldn't be able to earn the same income. It would be significantly less. Also, the child would also suffer because of that as well. So you can see here we used multiple forms of hardship and then fleshed out the religious faith differences. That was the uh, most important argument, in my opinion, in this case. But also the career and financial hardship are also contributing factors as well. So Fulbright's are more challenging to get approved than a normal J-1 waiver exceptional hardship case. It is possible depending upon your unique factors in your case. So I invite you to post your comments below, subscribe to continue to get informed. And of course you can contact us. Love to get your feedback. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate you and you're amazing for better your yourself. Better in your family. Bye for now.